DJ Switch is a fake news peddler and a devil's incarnate. Delta human rights activist said. The shooting at the Lekki toll gate no doubt threw the nation into a state of confusion, fear and sorrow. With the shooting that night, everyone had come out to condemn the act carried out by unidentified military men. But recent news flying around are saying the reports of the Lekki shootings are fake and that the photos and videos from the scene or its aftermath were either old photos or they were photoshopped. People are now having doubts about the incident that happened that night and calling DJ Switch a liar because according to them, there are no other evidence of the shooting except for the videos and photos. Even though DJ Switch in her recent video confirmed the incident after live streaming it on Instagram, she has also shown shells of bullets she and other witnesses picked up from the scene and with his calls that are still receiving treatment at the hospital. There are those who insist that she is fabricating the stories. One of such persons is a human rights activist based in Delta State by name. Oveje Frank. Frank had previously condemned the shooting on unharmed civilians that night of the incident, but in his recent photos taken to another opinion on the matter. In his sequel post, he talks about the danger of fake news and that the Lake Toll Gate massacre lacks evidence as DJ Switch was the only eyewitness. In other posts he made on Facebook, Dr. Decides and Boko FM Fans Club, Mr. Frank went as far as calling DJ Switch a liar and a devil's incarnate. He said she caused the crisis going on in the country and that she is the reason many youths and policemen were killed mm -hmm. and many are now jobless. Mr. Oveji have defended his stance, saying he has the right to have his own opinion. Many people are having thoughts that Mr. Oveji has been paid to say these things so as to turn people against DJ Switch and make her look like a liar. Thank you for listening to this news. Mr. Oveji, or whatever your name is called, see, you have every reason to be silent into this matter. In fact, you are not supposed to even say anything or even borrow your voice to this because you are totally out of the scene. Maybe you are trying to be popular. Yes, you are trying to be popular. That is what you are trying to do. Or maybe you are trying to, um, maybe you have been paid to get this whole thing covered up. Do you understand? All right? So I advise you to remain quiet because you don't know anything about the Lekki massacre. You don't know anything. Do you understand? Number one reason why you need to remain quiet is you are in Delta State and not in Lagos State. That's one. Two, you are not in the crime scene. You are not there. You are not part of the protesters. You are not there. Someone that is there is the one telling you that this is what happened and you are Still, they challenge the person and say, calling the person all kinds of names that the person is a liar. What, what gave you that right? You that doesn't know anything concerning what happened, you are the one casting people and saying that the person that was there that witnessed the whole thing, that that even uh, uh, what someone that is that is part of the 
people that anchored the protest is telling you that this is what happened and you're challenging his opinion. Can you imagine? Who is this man and where did he where, where, where did he where did he got him from? Or veggie or whatever your name is called. And who made you a human rights activist? You are a quack for crying out loud. You you're not supposed to be admitted into such in, in, into the into the into the foes. You're just arguing blindly something you know nothing about. You don't know anything about the about the crime scene and you're still talking trash. Mr. VJ, I advise you to remain quiet. To be completely quiet and don't even talk again because you will end up in trouble for saying what you don't know. You don't know that you're saying what you don't know? You don't know? You better be careful. Go are very, very careful. Get it on you. You understand? You have to be careful. Because they are watching you. They are watching you. They are watching your statements. How can you say such a thing? Something that everyone saw. The, the, the lady is telling you that this is what happened. She, she was bringing out proofs. Okay, all those proofs that she was bringing out, what are you going to call those proofs? She went and picked them up on the street. What are you saying? If you love yourself, you better keep that your big mouth with many, many teeth inside and lock up. Because I don't know what you're saying with this big mouth of yours that has no control. Yeah, it's so painful. My viewers, I tell you that this thing, that what happened in Lekki Massacre is something that any man in, in the next 20 years will never forget. And someone that called himself a human rights activist is saying this trash. What a, what, a, what a rubbish. What a rubbish. My viewers, as far as I am concerned, this man called Oveje or whatever he's called his name has been paid. What is so fun? What is fun low? So he should just keep his mouth shut in order not to get himself involved. Do you understand? In order not to get himself involved. Something that everyone saw and you're there saying trash. Kill on selling no. Who sent you? Who sent you? If you look at his face, it is written all over him that this person has been paid. <laughs> My viewers, please, what are your own take on this news? What is own ideas? Please, um, your comments concerning all that has happened are very, very important. Very, very important to, do you understand? So please, um, deem it fit to leave your own comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.